Hello! There was a time where the travel bloggers went to India to increase their subscription to 100,000 in two months because they talk about Indian food, they talk about the Indian way of simple life, they talk about yoga, twisting and turning themselves around and they manage to get their influence through large subscription because wherever they came from the Western world, nobody was interested in talking about nonsense, right? So they found ways to make subscription through talking about a different culture. You know what culture means? What one does when others don't look. somebody different going to somewhere else doing something different whilst others can't see and they see as a enormous difference feel good feel wonderful being in an ashram being in a yoga center going to the temple shaving the head dipping in the ganges well, all that is now forgotten about. Everyone is doing it. And no more subscription, no more thumbs up, no more likes, no more views. So they moved on to Sri Lanka because the Sri Lankans see these people as a new wave of travelers coming into Sri Lanka, making their subscription new videos. And there's this couple from Romania going around and doing all sorts of experiments with the Sri Lankans. I'll tell you, when I went back in 1985, 88 to Romania, they were still drawing donkey carts and horse carts everywhere, even to this day, in the outskirts under the USSR times. I bought an old camera in Sri Lanka. I couldn't find 135, 33 millimeter film for the entire Eastern Bloc. I traveled from Gdansk all the way to Istanbul by train. They've never seen a brown boy in the Eastern Bloc. Today, they're going to see the brown boys in Sri Lanka and India. And they're doing all kinds of vlogs and walks and influencing and YouTube videos. Those days, they did not have means to eat. Yes, Eastern Europe that was. I changed 10 pounds and I got 1.4 million slotties in 1986 in Poland, in Warsaw. There was nothing around, just the sheer structure of the, the train station and a massive office block, which is standing, I think to this day, as you come out of Warsaw train station. And all these people are going to East. They got the freedom of the West, exploited by the Western powers, the Western nations. And they've carried on selling their hamburgers and Burger Kings and blue jeans. And that copy is continue to go around the world. And you're dressed up in a blue jeans and a Nike t-shirt and fully exquisite look with coffee in one hand, a smartphone in the other hand you wouldn't know when you're going to fall with your face down. This is, I'm not your enemy. I'm not saying this to discourage you. I'm not your here to encourage you, but I'm here to share something throbbing in me, the consciousness. You can see right through these travelers, travel vloggers, those days you could travel innocently with everyone innocently engaged with you, caring for you sincerely today with somebody extend 
to care. They're looking to get something back. Even as a thumbs up or thumbs down or subscription or no subscription, at least they're going to get a views. This is how the world is going on about human behavior. A reflective society we created in compulsive behaviors.